hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and so today i'm going to show you how to check server status location under the salesforce using flow builder okay so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and so let's get started without any further delay and one more thing please watch this video until end if you get something new so please hit the uh, subscribe button and hit the bell icon to more information about my latest videos okay so let's get started so let me log in my org so this is my org so you can check server location i will show you what is my server location and what is the my instance name okay so let me enter my password first of all so once you enter this password so you redirect into your particular org here you can see i just logged in in my particular org okay so if you don't know like how to check the instance and all the things so you can check online as well like one website in salesforce like status.salesforce.com so you can check your server as well here okay so if you have some server location name so server name so you can check from here like trust status right so this is the one mo most of the website here okay so here how to check my server instances right so in the quick find you have to search like company profile or company information like company information just you have to click this company information here after that come down and in the last you can see like instance ap27 means aci specific 27 so there are so many reason under the salesforce okay so you can check based on your need right so like uh, ap means asia specific eu means european specific and name is north america specific so you can check this okay so these all related servers name and servants location okay but how to check the status of this server so you can check just copy this ap27 and just click this uh, trust.salesforce.com like status.salesforce.com and click this salesforce services and after that you have to search that instance is available in my org or uh, in my website so uh, so just you have to search like ap27 so here you can see ap27 is highlighted automatically just click this ap27 and now you can check each and everything here regarding my server processes or server status you can check the history core services search analytics live agent all the things you can see here right now spring 22 patch this is the version this is the reason maintenance window you can see the maintenance window and product you can check the history as well under here right you can check here some maintenance and all the things core services searching cpq billing all the things you can check from here right we have another tab that is called maintenance you can check the maintenance date where uh, we want to find out these all things so you can select fab 3 okay so this is maintenance but how to automate this business because this is uh, this is things most of the people know very well right but how to automate these things like uh, using screen flow or any flow builder okay so you can use so i will show you how to use this status.salesforce.com instances and particular instances with dynamically and it's a automatic redirect uh, from that link into this website in my org from my org okay so how to do that just you have to click quick find and search like flow so once you search the flow just click this workflow and approvals just click this flows okay so how to make it this automatically okay i will show you here just click this new flow here okay and once you click this new flow you have to do what just create a new flow as a screen flow under here so we have lots of templates like uh, screen flow record trigger flow all the things you can see here one by one right but let me show you screen flow uh, how to automate this business okay so you can automate this business with the help of this screen flow and now my instances is here ap27 so how to do that so first of all here you can see this is the canvas window right uh, canvas window we can drag and drop the elements from uh, this new resource and toolbar something like that right based on your need so just click this plus button and this plus button we have like interaction logic data these things three things right so you have to click first of all like get get data because i need organization information based on our instance right so just click this get records so once you click this get records let me uh, enter the uh, detail here like let's say get 
instance id suppose like this one and which object you want to work i want to work on the organization so you can see the predefined organization object here this is a standard object right and the condition is like id organization id should be equal like uh, any id as we have related my organization so you have to search like organization organization just click this one and click on this id so here you can see this is the id right and click on this done button so our get instance is ready so how to check this so you can check with the help of this uh, um, debug button so first of all let me check this and let me save this first of all so like get server details something like that and save it once you save it so it's automatically enable this button here you can see run debug activate save as and save button is dis disabled automatically so this time you have to click this debug first of all let me check this organization id is coming or not okay so you can check with the help of debug so just click this debug options and here you can see after some time it's asking some pop up that is called debug flow click on this run button and after that you can see here like get so is successfully query our uh, record as we already mentioned like the organization id so you can see this is the organization id right so how to make it dynamically like how to find out the uh, trust.salesforce.com or status.salesforce.com url here so you have to add another element here with the help of this plus icon and just click on this one that is called screen flow so under this screen flow we have lots of components here like addresses call script all the things if you don't know these all things so you can learn from my playlist in this um, youtube channel and that is related to the salesforce flow builder okay so we have to add that is called display text so let me add this display text and api name like uh, the result here okay result now i want to make it uh, this url as a dynamically from the flow so how to make it just let me copy this one and let me open my notepad and paste it here now you can see after that you can see like this is the common for all here to here this highlighted area is a common for all right after instances you can see like forward slash ap27 so it may be like is very varying uh, org to org right so just remove this one and this is a common for all this is a common instances right and common url so just let me copy this url from here to here okay and now uh, in my org here let me insert first of all let's say organization recently single record organization and like instance name how to find out like instance name you can find out based on the sql query so you can search i will show you here first of all here you can see like ins instance name here you can see this is an instance name right so you can see we say automatic generate one expression that is called ex, uh, this bracket exclamatory mark get instance id dot instance name so how to find out these all things so you can find out here let me do that one thing for you let's say duplicate this tab and after that here let me show you how to find out this organization details right just so just click this back button here and now just click this current logged user and here you can see developer console just click this developer console and i will show you this organization things right so how to do that let me show you here so just open the this query editor here just click this query editor okay let me close this one first of all and click on this query editor and now you have to write your query on which object organization object so select id comma name from organization json object under this organization we have another column that is called instance name right so let me execute first of all this one now you can see my organization id my uh, organization name is tcs and now you can see like instance name ap27 now i need this one that is called ap27 as a dynamically so how to find out with the help of this one that is called this expression we can find out and how to use that i will show you here so first of all you have to do like here click or let me uh, copy this one or let me cut this and let me paste it into my uh, notepad here like this here just focus on that suppose that 
this will be as a automatic so it's a automatic comes here right so let me copy uh, cut here and paste it here so suppose that it's showing like ap27 or ap26 based on your server instance so it's a dynamic na right so you can make it your uh, url as a dynamic here with the help of this expression now here now here you can see like click and something like that so click here uh, more info about the server something like that so how to make it this clickable or hyperlink so just select this text and click uh, this link here and it's asking like link url okay so how to provide this link url i will show you here okay so first of all you have to copy this one this one just let me copy this one now let me select this text here and click make it as a link here and paste it your link right and click on this ok button now you can see it's a automatic uh, change this text into the link here just focus on that click here right and let me done this and it's asking like invalid screen okay so here you have to give this name here because uh, i didn't uh, provide that name so it's asking like name so get instance name like that you can give this name and click on this done button now you can see our uh, element is successfully created here that is called once is uh, screen flow and this is the standard and now this is get instance id this is our created custom uh, that is called get record here so it's uh, provided by this element salesforce but you can modify or you can add something under this element same thing here for screen flow as well like this is screen now it's time to do what let me save this and let me check this is working or not as we expected okay so you can work like this so let me save this and let me click on this debug and let's say it's working or not let me close all the things here and let's see here now you can see get server details and now it's a one pop-up just click on this run now it's asking like here like just focus on that click here for more info about the server so let me click this one and let's see what's happened so once you click this one so it's automatic redirect in particular url here you can see automatic change like stator.salesforce.com slash instances and ap27 it's automatic redirect in particular instance name here you can see ap27 right based on your uh, expression so it's automatic uh, query uh, under the flow and that query find out the instance name and that instance name is automatic comes under this link here once you click so it's automatic convert uh, that is here stator.salesforce.com slash instances and ap27 and you can learn each and everything under your instance okay this is the one way here right i want to hide this button first of all so how to hide this button so just click this screen component add it element and now you can select footer configuration right so let me hide this finish okay and also you can hide the pause and previous but we cannot hide all the buttons at a time because it's throwing some error okay uh, here just let me do that one thing for you let's say pause button as well or not pause okay use this uh, pause here and let me hide this previous and click on this done so after done you have to save this flow again and here you can see you can uh, set either allow finish or allow back to false right so it's throwing some error why because we already hide some element here that's why some button so it's asking like you can hide only pause or next button not previous something like that so just open this previous let me hide this pause and click on this done button and uh, try to save this one so this time uh, it will be saved okay and after that you can work accordingly so again you have to do what just click on this debug and now you can see same thing from here and i will show you after that in this uh, demo like how to use this uh, that is called is flow under any record page home page app page okay i will show you here just click on the run after that you can see like click here click on this click here now it's a automatic redirect trust.salesforce.com or is trust.salesforce.com now you can see instances slash ap27 here right so just close this one all the tabs okay now let me close all the things and let me activate this flow first of all because if without activation you cannot see this flow under the any app builder page any record page home page 
okay try to understand so keep in your mind this is the very most important things so first of all we have to activate this one right again you have to um, click on this back button and now it's time to do how to use this flow under any record page home page something like that okay so just click on this home button here right and once you click this home button so you have to do what so let me um, change this experience as a lightning lightning experience here this is a new ui here and now you can see this logo spring 22 okay so my org is automatic update so that's why you can see this new logo here right after that once you click this uh, lightning experience so you have to use any home page record page app page based on your need or you can create your custom app page as well this is this is freedom provided by salesforce okay so let me refresh again this one so finally you can see this is the uh, sales application under this sales application we have lots of tabs here so i want to add that flow under this uh, home page so how to add that so just click this gear icon and click edit page here and after that you have to use that flow under this page lightning app page under the lightning app builder so here you can see lightning app builder page is open now here okay now so how to use that flow under this lightning page so you have to do what so you have to search here like flow under this flow you have to click this flow here right so once you click this flow you can see uh, related uh, like developer console and all the things default page and something like that so just click this flow here okay so just you have to uh, you have to drag and drop this flow from this screen here to here and after that you can choose your flow as we expect so you have to search under this component like as a flow here right you can delete this one as you want and you can drag and drop in particular places here like this okay now you can see my component that is called flow component create a case and here the, um, this is the by default case creation so you can change it based on your need so how to change it now you can see like create a comp uh, case get server details so this is our um, flow right so just select this flow here and based on your need or based on your project need so you can change it out here like the columns like one column two column okay you can filter out here as well so just do that one thing for you let's say edit flow builder and now you can see this get server so just save it and activate this for, uh, for uh, that is called page activate this page here after activation again you have to go back in particular screen that is called home screen in particular application that is called a sales application okay now it's taking some time to activation here you can see activation is going on after activation you have to do what just go back and check it this flow is working or not okay so now you can see like uh, assign org so let me check this one that is called org default and assign default org and click on the save button click on the save button and now you can see activation successfully right just go back here once you go back here again you can see here my flow under the home screen under this application that is called sales, uh, sales application now my flow here in the top you can see uh, flow that is called get server details right so how to check that same thing you can click this link and you can get your server instance uh, information everything like just click this uh, click here and now you can see stator.salesforce.com and some instances as we have our org that is called ap27 so re related this ap27 you can see in your case maybe this this is the different in your case okay should be difference because uh, sometimes is the common for all but sometimes is uh, different different reason it's maybe vary right so please keep in your mind this thing so my instance name here you can see ap27 so under ap27 you can see all the information about my instance like current status history and maintenance okay so this is all about like how to check this instance uh, using lightning flow builder so guys i hope you learn something new in this video and please subscribe my youtube channel and till then bye bye take care